Hi, I'm Jesse from PictureBandit.com and in this tutorial we'll be covering mesh extraction and topology in ZBrush 3.1. Topology and mesh extraction are very useful for creating clothing, armor, and accessories for pre-existing models and meshes. So uh, to begin with, if you're not familiar with ZBrush, go ahead and check out my uh, basics tutorial simply titled ZBrush Tutorial. All right. To start, uh, go ahead and load up a tool or import an object onto your scene. I have a pre-existing one here. I'm just going to draw this straight out onto the scene here. Once you draw it out, go into your edit mode by clicking this button over here or clicking T on your keyboard. And once I'm in edit mode, I'm just going to hit F on my keyboard to center my mesh. And then I'm going to hit Z spheres. Now, what this is, this is this is called uh, topology extraction. We'll go over mesh extraction in a minute. It's going to be a little bit easier. Um, for topology extraction, it requires me to hit the Z tool, um, the Z sphere, and and it does a lot of things. But but instead of going into uh, why uh, I'm doing these things and and what they do, I'm just going to go into how to do it because. Uh, That'll keep the tutorial a little shorter, and I'm working in high definition. So, go ahead and click uh, Z Sphere once your mesh is on the scene and you're in edit mode, and then come down to the rigging tab and hit select mesh, and then go back and select the mesh that you drew on the scene earlier. And you should have something that looks like this. Once you do that, go to the next tab, which is Topology, and hit the first button, which says Edit Topology. And then you have your mesh that you want to extract your topology from with uh, a little dot in the center of your mesh. And that will be, we'll call that the root node. So what you want to do, like on this one, I think we're going to go ahead and just kind of create like an eye patch right here around the eye and uh, I want to move my root to the beginning of my uh, topology extraction so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold shift down and before you do this go ahead and if your draw size is you know anything go ahead and bring it down to one so that you're only gonna select one vertice alright hold down shift and left click to get your um, root node to your beginning of your mesh selection. Once you do that, you can start clicking, and you'll notice you'll start leaving a line, a trail behind your clicks. So I, I clicked all the way around, and uh, what I want to do is uh, start closing this off. If I just come over here and and I want to go from here to there and I'm already up there if I click here it's uh, it's, uh, it's going to shoot a line down but if I wanted to start down there I'm just going to hit control Z and undo that if I want to start down here what you want to do is hold shift and that resets your node to that location and then I'm going to close the gap here hold shift and redo that and I'm and I'm letting go of shift as I click to my next line. So I'm holding shift and I'm moving the, the node, root node down to here and then I'm letting go of shift and clicking up here. And that kind of uh, closes things off for me. And then what, I, what you can do once, you're, once you get in anywhere during the process, if you hit A, it's going to show you, it's going to give you a preview of what you're created so far. So I'm just going to hit A, and you can see what I've done by selecting the mesh uh, vertices around the eye and closing it off. It actually created, um, it cre it's creating a surface. Now I can, I can draw another one around this and make two of them or however you want to do it. But once you get what you want, you see, and, it, and it's kind of the general area you want to be in. You're satisfied with it. Um, come back into vertices selection mode and then come down to um, skin thickness and go ahead and just move that up to about 
let's see, point two or something like that. Two or three. You can. There it is, point two. And you can see I'm starting to get a little thickness there. If I just went up to three or something like that, it's going to be a little thicker. So I'm done with that. I, I'm satisfied that looks like the eye patch I was trying to make. I'm going to come back up and hit Make Poly Mesh 3D. Then I'm going to go back to my pre-texture, the head that I originally had in there. Go to Sub Tools and Append, and then I'm going to select that that um, Poly Mesh 3D eye patch that I created using my topology extraction and then once you get to this you can move it around by selecting that under your layers and going to your move tool and just putting that thing where you want it you can smooth it down you can edit it just like any other piece of the mesh and if for some reason that's not what you want you don't have to delete it just hide it alright the next uh, that's it for topology you can make you know armor and stuff like that or whatever you want uh, the next one is a lot easier to use I'm just gonna stay in the same mode that I'm in and all I'm gonna do is hold control down and I'm just gonna mask an area off here over the eyes you can see what I've done there I'm just gonna mask a little higher try to get over these eyebrows a little bit All right. You see what I've done? All I did was mask off an area. Anything you mask, if you hit control, now I'd have to turn my draw size back up. But if you hit control, you can just mask off the area. I'm just going to control Z to get rid of that. So once you get an area mask off on your mesh that you want to extract, over under subtools, just come down to extract. Leave your thickness where it is. You do not necessarily need to crank it up to 0.2 or 3 like on the topology if you crank this up to point two or three you're gonna have a huge mesh extraction so I might put this at point zero four or something like that and hit extract and see where I'm at see even that was significant so I'm just gonna hit control Z or actually I'm just gonna hide that because maybe I wanna keep it that big so I'm gonna come back down to point two or something like that and hit extract and then uh, what you can do is uh, hold control and unselect your mask okay uh, you can select your mask area and hide your main to kinda see where you're at and then if you wanted to go back in and smooth things out turn my draw size up maybe turn my intensity down a little bit I can smooth things out on the, what I just created there and see how that looks and now I've just created a mask just using um, masking using the mask tool and the extract button and there you have that well that's pretty much it for topology and mesh extraction hope I didn't make things too complicated and if I did just leave a you know leave a comment or shoot me a, a, a question um, as you'll notice I now have uh, a secure donations link set up through PayPal and if that's something that uh, you just can't do right now don't worry about it my tutorials will always be free um, with that in mind, I will be finishing up a complete series on ZBrush, and then I plan on adding other series like uh, 3D Studio Max, uh, Maya, Vue, um, possibly Poser, and how to work between all the different software packages. So if this is the sort of stuff that interests you, please subscribe. Uh, you won't be disappointed. And to my current subscribers, thank you. And don't forget to check out PictureBandit.com.